Hello everyone. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create the CCTV effect inside Premiere Pro. So first off, you want to download the Obsolete Effects Pack completely for free. The link is in the description below. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add the black and white effect. So come over to the effects control panel, type in black and under video effects, image control, click and drag the black and white effect into the effects controls panel, making sure your clip is highlighted. Then I'm going to add time code. So I'm gonna to go to the effects control panel, type in time code. And again, under video, drag the metadata and time code burning into the effects controls panel. I'm gonna set the opacity to 100. And next to metadata, I'm gonna select generate time code. Then I want to move the time code in the top left. So I'm going to click the position and we get this anchor here in our screen. So I'm just going to click it and I'm going to drag it to the top left of our screen like so. Then I'm going to set the size to about 70% not make it too small. And I'm going to keep the format as SIMPT, at least I think that's what it's called. And I'm going to set the start time code to something a bit different. So I'm just going to click on it and I'm going to put 12 here just so it's not starting from zero. Moving on next, what I'm gonna do is making sure my clip is still highlighted. I'm gonna add the wave warp effect. So FX control was typing wave warp, click and drag it into the FX controls panel. I'm gonna keep the wave warp to sign. I'm gonna change the wave height to one to make this very subtle. I'm gonna keep the width at 40 and I'm gonna set the direction to 10. And I'm gonna set the speed to 1.5. Okay, the next effect we're gonna add is the Venetian blinds effect. So this effect is a part of the obsolete effects pack. So if you see video transitions, this is not the effect. You wanna come over to the obsolete effects pack and you wanna click and drag the Venetian blinds into the effects controls panel. And I'm gonna set the transition completion, which is this one here to 20%. I'm gonna change the direction to 90 degrees. So we've got it going across our clip and I'm gonna set the width to 10, just so it's very subtle. You can play around with these settings, but this I find works for me very well. Next, we're gonna add the posterized time effect. So come into the effects control panel, type in posterize and click and drag the posterized time effect into the control panel. And I'm gonna set the frame rate to six. This effect is pretty intensive on your computer, so just be mindful of that. So if I press play now, you can see it's got this very low, jittery, quality, laggy effect to it, which I really like, which I feel sells the effect. And lastly, we're going to add a noise effect. So again, effect control panel, type in noise, and under noise and grain, click and drag into the effects control panel. I'm gonna set the amount of noise to 15, and I'm gonna deselect the use color noise because our clip is black and white. Lastly, if you don't wanna waste your time having to add all these effects again, just simply hold control or command and select all the relevant effects. So in this case, black and white, all these relevant effects here, right click and select save preset. And I'm gonna call it the CCTV effect, click. Okay, now if you go into presets or type in the name of the preset you called it, in this case, the CCTV effect, you'll find it right over here. And all you have to do is just click and drag it into the effects control panel and it will have all these effects already added to it. Anyways, I will see you again in the next video. Take care, goodbye.